in the camp a little bit ago, and I wanted to reorganize the way I set up my uh, blanket roll. This is the uh, Indy Hammered Knives blanket roll with the leather strap that has the uh, main padded area, which is all leather, and the uh, actual strap itself, and then it has two other like sway straps as an effect. But anyway, I wanted to take out one wool blanket as it's getting above 30s now. I don't really need two because you know I keep my my gear on my all my clothes except for my outer layer on anytime I'm in a an actual shelter. So I don't need two wool blankets for me personally. So I cut out the one that I'm using as my knee brace and I think I'm going to use this setup for the rest of the summer in addition to my belt pouch and my haversack. And basically it has the Pathfinder bush pot connected with some gear and some other gear on the interior along with a hatchet. So let's open this up and show you what all is contained in the kit. Set our hatchet over here to the side, along with our blanket harness. Go ahead and slightly unroll this. We have a Mora Bushcraft Black Survival Edition, cotton bandana, a uh, pillow, two contractor garbage bags, SOL emergency blanket, some 550 cord and three prussics that I use for my shelter, and the actual uh, blanket that comes with the Indy Hammered Knives blanket roll, and a grabber tarp and my sleeping pad. So I'm going to set that stuff off the side real quick and we'll dig into what I'm carrying in the bush pot. <clears throat> of course securing it all is my single old busted bungee cord with the knots in it which make it perfect for securing this uh, Pathfinder pot with all the additions I have to it. I have my Micro 10 C's uh, 10. There's a whole bunch of information about this on my blog. I've done a lot of testing on it. Uh, I keep refining it every time I take it out it seems like. Uh, my fire kit, once again I'll put a link to this uh, in the actual blog post. Uh, if you've been following along there's three or four articles on that. Three tent stakes for rapidly setting up a diamond shelter, headlamp, and then all my food for the three day trip. Several packs of oatmeal, a Bear Creek uh, potato cheddar soup. Uh, gumbo. This is great if you're going fishing. Highly recommend you get this. All you gotta do is throw a little trout in there, cut it in half, and add a trout or possibly two in there with it. You have meals for two nights in a row. It's great. And then black beans and rice. So it easily could get by for about three days with this. Um, two for sure if I don't catch any fish or get any game. But uh, nice easy three-day kit. You have 100% backup if you lose your haversack or whatever you're carrying uh, out in the field with you while you're hunting or trapping or fishing or whatever it is you're doing. If you leave this setup back at your camp hanging ready to go, you will have everything you need for the rest of your trip, even if you don't have the gear that you would take you know, on your person. I double up on my 10 C's. I have a set in my uh, haversack or uh, sling bag for my, in my case. And 
along with possibly doubling it up in my person for the first five C's. And then this pack would be sitting back at camp ready to go hanging up for whenever I build my shelter or um, settle in for the night. So that is my blanket roll for what's going to be probably the rest of the spring and probably the summer. I decided having the other uh, wool blanket that you can kind of see here in the corner uh, was just overkill. It's in the 30s right now and I'm plenty warm with just the one wool blanket and my clothes on. I actually don't have my boil coat on. I just have a uh, it's a cotton blend overshirt on along with a wool under undershirt on and I'm 100% warm right now. So and it's I think it's 29 or 30 somewhere in that right now. So this is my new blanket roll setup uh, for the spring and summer, possibly early fall, and I will get back to you going forward to let you know how everything works out. But a lot of this stuff is stuff I've carried in my in my bags, uh, my EDC bag, which you've seen on the, the blog before. But uh, so I have no doubt it'll work well. Any questions? Please feel free to comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.